Imagine if the Democrats had not won the House. These angry mobs would be ten times these numbers. But these people are truly misguided, uneducated. Either that or they're blinded by the corrupting glare of progressive socialism. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, I think the marchers are both. I, I think they're blinded by ideology, and I think they're uneducated as well. President Trump is the chief executive of what I call the fourth branch of government. That would be uh, you know, departments like the Department of Justice, Agriculture, etc., right? Department of Energy. Uh, so he, as a chief executive, he's the boss. He can hire and fire whoever he wants. As long as they don't have some sort of criminal record, he's fine. There's nothing wrong with what he did. Well, to be explicit and constitutional in a strict sense, Graham, all of those jobs fall under the purview, supervision, and discretion of the executive. And it's the executive branch, led by the president, who hires and fires at will. Uh, hiring certain jobs uh, require the consent uh, of the Senate, but he can fire anybody anytime he wants, and it is constitutional. So I'm sorry that the fellow in the previous video said he's a strict constitutionalist. Maybe he should read it and understand Donald Trump can fire his entire cabinet in an hour, and it's totally his right to do so. You should also mention uh, when we talk about these people rioting sort of in the streets, where the money's coming from. You know the old adage, follow the money and you'll find out what's really behind the scenes. Yeah. The um, partitions that are all over the internet this morning are being funded by, promoted by, and literally bragged about by moveon.org. Yep org who calls himself the progressive revisionist movement to save America really what it is it's to advance the principles of its benefactor George Soros they're the ones behind the protect Mueller investigation yep you're dead on I was watching that last night uh, via Twitter and all these different videos move on dot org was proudly putting them uh, on Twitter from various cities of course they're behind it George Soros is behind it of course and, you know, as you said, follow the money, follow the money straight to socialism and unconstitutional behavior. And speaking of unconstitutional behavior, by the way, I should note that this uh, Matthew Whitaker seems like a constitutional guy to me. He's just happened to express his opinion a couple of times. But uh, when you look at unconstitutional behavior, I think of the retiring Senator Jeff Flake, who is now in his waning hours as senator from Arizona, trying to force Robert Mueller down the throats of all Americans, including Donald Trump. And in doing so, he is violating the separation of powers of the United States Constitution. Look, Mueller could be fired tomorrow. It's happened before. Most recently, Richard Nixon fired a special prosecutor. It's within the executive branch's authority to do so. Having said that, Jeff Flake is working very, very hard to cement his legacy as stabbing Trump every chance he gets. The truth is, Whitaker has made some comments which I agree with 100%. The Mueller investigation, get this, Graham, in two years and untold millions of dollars has found zero, and I mean zero in capital letters, evidence of any collusion the Russians had with anyone in the United States to affect the outcome of the 2016 elections vis-a-vis -vis the Trump campaign. They found a bunch of other problems with illegal lobbying and people working for people they didn't say they were working for and tax evasion and things like that, which probably if you looked into the government officials on both sides of the aisle, you'd have a paddy wagon full on any given day. But having said that, Mueller's come up so far as of today with zero. And the reason Whitaker made his comments, Graham, is he thought the Mueller investigation was going way over the line into doing whatever they wanted in regards to whomever they wanted, on any topic they wanted, and that's not what the Mueller investigation was supposed to be about. It was Russia, 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 but nothing has come out on that subject at least two years in. No, oh, and, and the acting uh, attorney general, or the, uh, the, the attorney general, deputy attorney general, Rod Rosenstein, who was overseeing him, allowed Mueller to uh, go beyond the original charter of Russia, 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 as you put it. And if Jeff Flake gets his way, by the way, this is a violation of the separation of powers because the 
Article 1 branch would be dictating to the Article 2 branch of how to conduct its duties, and that is a violation of the separation of powers. Textbook. Barry, thanks.